Well, I, I don't know that there would be a different reaction with uh, with President Trump uh, than there is right now. I think that uh, you know each of these administrations operates in its own way uh, and has its own uh, has its own decision making processes. And I think that uh, what you're seeing with uh, with the current with the with the current administration is a very deliberative uh, approach on this. I have no doubt that uh, that uh, that our president will take actions to protect. Uh, U.S. Uh, U.S. Uh, forces on the ground, uh, but I also think he does have an expectation that our host nation partners will also uh, take responsibility for protecting U.S. and coalition partners on the ground as well. Well, I, I certainly hope not. Um, I think everybody, uh, certainly, I, I, it's my view, and I think it's shared by many here, that Iraq is an important security partner for the United States. Uh, and our interests, our interests going forward are best served by, uh, by you know, having a good relationship uh, and, and maintaining the presence of some of our forces on the ground working with the Iraqi security forces. That said, I think it's also important to recognize that uh, to move forward in, in important problems like, uh, like Iran, we do have to get to to a diplomatic um, uh, uh, angle at some particular point. Uh, there is only so much that we can do with military pressure uh, and military activities. But, and ultimately, we have to bring all of our capabilities to bear. And I think that one of the important capabilities that that um, that the United States is now trying to bring to bear is our diplomatic weight in in bringing others together to try to compel. Uh, Iran to uh, to come to the table, have a discussion, and act as a responsible member of the region. I, I don't uh, I don't know that there is any significant consideration of that right now. Um, I mean, it always remains a possibility. But I think uh, what I have seen from uh, in my own reading of what is taking place in the new administration and and other things that I've been looking at is that I think the United States has recognized that uh, maintaining uh, partnership uh, and having some forces on the ground in Iraq is important for our interests. Um, we've certainly seen what happens when we step back from this area, as we did in 2011, and we had to kind of come back in 2014. I don't think anybody wants a uh, wants a repeat of that. Um, so uh, I think that uh, what the United States is trying to do is trying to make sure that we have a sustainable level of troop presence on the ground that protects our interests and maintains uh, <clears throat> the important relationship that we want to have with the Iraq, with the Iraqi, uh, with the Iraqi forces and with the Iraqi government, uh, to include the Kurds uh, in that as 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 well. So, you know, I, I don't know if there's any immediate talk here uh, on that, uh, and I'm hopeful that we will we will continue to to be a good partner to Iraq. I think there's a very good chance for the strategic talks to be successful. And uh, as, as I've mentioned a couple of times here, I think, I think having a good relationship with Iraq is important to U.S. interests in the Middle East. Um, Iraq uh, you know, is, is, has capable forces at an important location in the region. Um, and uh, I think it is, it is in our interest to, to have a strong relationship um, with that, I'm certainly aware of some of the activities that are taking place with uh, with Shia militias and others here that are seem to be propagating attacks against uh, against Americans, perhaps at the, and, and in places where we are co-located with uh, with Iraqi forces uh, like like Erbil. Um, and I think that is that is very unfortunate. I think it is it is the nature of Iran to try to strike back at uh, at America where we are. Uh, and also trying to weaken this relationship be between us. Uh, but I think that uh, it is, it's in our interest to maintain a very, very strong uh, relationship moving forward. Well, uh, I, I don't know. I haven't specifically talked to the president about that, so I, I can't speak for him. Uh, but I would say that uh, I think uh, 
from the initial things that I am seeing is that I think we we recognize the contributions that have made been made by uh, the Kurdish uh, forces and the Kurdish people, both in northern Iraq and in Syria. Uh, we have long been partners with uh, with the Peshmerga and with the, uh, with the Kurds in the northern part of uh, Iraq. They were essential to the United States when we came into the coalition. When we came back to Iraq in 2014, we could not have done what we did without the Kurds to help us get started and get situated on the ground. So there's a very long relationship there, and I'm very hopeful that we will preserve that. In, in Syria, uh, I again, I am very hopeful that the Syrian Kurds uh, at, at some point will, will be represented in the political settlement if we get to that stage. They have certainly fought very valiantly against ISIS. They were an indispensable partner for this, for us, for the coalition. Uh, they have suffered greatly uh, in, uh, in, uh, at the hands of ISIS and being persecuted by their own government, the Syrian government. Uh, and so I think it, uh, it is really important that they be represented in whatever political sol solution that we can ultimately arrive at in, uh, in, uh, in northern Syria. And I think it is vitally important that the United States not never forget how much we have relied on the Kurdish people uh, to help protect our security interests in this important region. Uh, I hope that we never forget that. We owe a lot to, to the Kurds in both Iraq and in Syria. Thank you. It's great to be with you again.